I'm Lieutenant Colonel Ian Chant Semple, who commanded this magnificent parade held at Seton Park in Aberdeen. The parade was to celebrate our 200th anniversary and was called the Bicentenary Parade. The drums and pipes and the regimental band marched us onto parade. And here we have a perfect picture of Drum Major Harper with the drums and pipes directly behind him. The four marker senior NCOs are Colour Sergeant Keswick, Colour Sergeant Milne, Colour Sergeant Booth, and Colour Sergeant Black. The parade marches on in four guards. The first guard was commanded by Major Struan Robertson. The second by Major David Grant. The third by Major David Barron. And the fourth by Major Mark Dodson. Drum Major Harper, leading the drums and pipes, comes from Rhiney and has completed almost 22 years in the battalion. The officers are led on to parade by Captain Simon West, whose father and grandfather had also served in the regiment. The parade is now going to come to a halt, and in the front we have Sergeant Major Burnett and Colour Sergeant Smith. We were all now on parade and awaiting the arrival of our Colonel-in-Chief. On his arrival, we gave him the royal salute. I then had to go and report to him that the parade was ready for him to come to inspect. And His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Duke of Rothsay, left the saluting base and came down to inspect the parade. Corporal Burns and Lance Corporal Smart are leading us and behind our Colonel-in-Chief is the Colonel of the Regiment, Lieutenant General Sir Peter Graham, with his ADC, Captain Bob Deere, and their equerry, Major Paddy Tabor. The tune we now listen to is the Rose of Allendale. The first company he inspected was Major Strohn Robertson. And he went down and inspected the front and the rear ranks. And here he is speaking to Lance Corporal Armstrong and Private Forbes, and then on to Corporal Marshall, and on to Lance Corporal Darling, who came from Stenhaven.
pipe tune has now changed and we listen to the Bonnie Lass of Fide. His Royal Highness will then move to the next guard, commanded by Major David Grant. And he speaks to Sergeant Major Joe Darrick, who is an intensely loyal Gordon Highlander. crowd sit and wait patiently for the inspection to come to an end. And here we have the drums and pipes who countermarched and came to the rear of the parade, ready to be inspected. We have Corporal Johnson in the front, Corporal Moyer and Lance Corporal Douglas. His Royal Highness then moved on to the guard commanded by Major Mark Dodson, who had recently returned from Bosnia and has been awarded an MBE for his work in that country. Notice how steady everybody is on parade. There's not a movement, not a murmur, and no fidgeting. His Royal Highness greatly enjoyed talking to all the jocks, and they enjoyed having him on parade. We now march towards the drums and pipes. And I introduce him to Drum Major Harper. A local Rhiney loon who had spent 22 years in the drums and pipes of the 1st Battalion of the Gordon Highlanders. The other key member of our drums and pipes is of course our pipe major. Pipe Major Sampson from Lawrence Kirk. His Royal Highness was then taken to inspect our old comrades, who are affectionately known as the Old and the Bold, and approximately 1,000 came to celebrate and participate in our 200th bicentenary. Both the bands have joined together now for the band troupe. And the tune we're listening to is The Dark Island. Corporal Moyer, Pipe Major Sampson, Corporal Douglas. It was good to see the many thousands of locals watching this parade, which I am sure delighted the Lord Provost, James Wyness, who escorted our Colonel-in-Chief. And here we have a marvellous picture of the Royal Standard.
tune they're now playing is the Glenderool Highlanders. They now come to march in quick time. Now, who's that pretty young recruit? Seton Park is a magnificent setting for this memorable parade and was formerly the home of the Hayes of Seton, a well-known Gordon Highlander family. Amongst the spectators, there were many representatives from our affiliated regiments from around the world, namely the Toronto Scottish Regiment, the 48th Highlanders of Canada, the 5th 6th Battalion, the Royal Victoria Regiment, the 5th 7th Battalion, the Royal Australian Regiment, and the Cape Town Highlanders. We now have the trooping of the regimental colour and the escort to the colour is commanded by Lieutenant Jason Calder with Lieutenant Ronnie Coots and Lieutenant Philip White and the guard of number one company and to the rear of the guard is the regimental sergeant major with his sword drawn and here comes the regimental sergeant major who will march in front of the officers and collect the colours. drums and pipes play the haunting melody of Trooping the Colour. The black buttons worn on our spats are worn in commemoration of Sir John Moore of Corona, who died during that battle in 1809. Our number one guard trooped the colours through all the ranks of the parade. This symbolic gesture goes back centuries when the kings and the regimental colour were trooped through all the ranks of the battalion and shown off to the soldiers. The colours were critical in battle because they indicated where battalion headquarters was located. Queen's colour is being carried by Lieutenant Ronnie Coote and the regimental colour by Lieutenant Philip White who was the last Gordon Highlander Sword of Honour winner at the Royal Military Academy of Sandhurst. The colours were presented to the battalion by His Royal Highness in 1988. The battalion is presenting arms as the colours are marched through our ranks.
Christopher Bremner, who was recently on a tour in Cambodia. And he was awarded his United Nations Medal for service there. Captain Aidan Honley was the winner of the Duke of Rothsay's Derg, which is an annual competition, an inter-platoon competition, and it was held this year on the Invercald estate and ended at Ballata. This gruelling 36-hour exercise, which the platoons covered about 35 miles, rarely does test the skills of the platoon commander and his entire platoon. And here we have the side drummers, led by Corporal Winton, and with him he has Private Kane, Private Og, and Private McGovern. The Colour Guard have now completed the Trooping the Colour, and they present arms to conform with the remainder of the battalion. The colour party now take post in the centre of the battalion. We have Colour Sergeant Smith and Colour Sergeant Eddie escorting the Queen's and the regimental colour. here, the jocks are forming up, ready for the slow march past. The drums and pipes and the military band also get into position. The regimental band strikes up with the garb of Old Gaul, which is the regimental slow march, which is always played by the regimental band. This is number four guard, under the command of Major Mark Dodson. Notice their immaculate dressing. In the spectator stand, one can spot two former Gordon Highlander Sergeant Majors, Company Sergeant Major MacDonald and Company Sergeant Major Taylor, who left the battalion earlier this year.
battalion break into quick time to the tune Cock of the North, which is the regimental march. This is number four guard marching past in quick time and paying compliments to the colonel in chief. Here the battalion are coming in from the column of route to the column of guards by executing a left form. Here we have Lieutenant Dougie Graham, who is the son of the Colonel of the Regiment. Throughout the day, we were given great assistance by the Territorial Army and the Army Cadet Force, who helped us with the crowd control and the general security of Seaton Park. The battalion now executes an advance in review order and a royal salute. There then followed an address by the Colonel in Chief to the regiment. I have been enormously proud to be your Colonel in Chief and to be associated with such a magnificent regiment. Apart from anything else, you have invariably made me feel as if I belonged to an extended family of the regiment. And in my heart, there will always be a corner of it which is forever at goal. I look forward to playing a part in regimental life, whatever the future may bring. And I wish you all the very best for the future. Good fortune. My dad. Stand is the regimental motto, and in effect means stand firm. And now the battalion marches off parade, led by the 1st Battalion, and followed very closely behind by the wonderful members of the regimental association, who are led today by Bob Strachan, Jim Hutton, and Mike and Douglas Robson, who did so much in the three-year campaign to save the regiment. And there is Lance Corporal Bond, ex-officer's mess, 22 years loyal service, and now a member of British Railways. Sergeant Major Reed, Colour Sergeant Robson, Colour Sergeant Cole, and ex-drum Major Girling are all on parade.
there were probably up to a thousand of the old comrades who gave the Colonel-in-Chief a glorious eyes right. The battalion now leaves Seaton Park after a memorable day to march the following week at Aberdeen, Inverurie, Bankery, Fraserburgh, Huntley and Keith to exercise our freedom rights. <laughs>